I don't know why I'm on this uh, <laughs> weird heart to heart tangent. We gotta snatch it up. If I could go back and talk to myself, I'm like emotional today. By the glamorous, the flossy, flossy. Good morning, you guys. It's Mother's Day today. Happy Mother's Day to the moms, the people who have taken on the roles of moms, and all the moms who took on the role of the dad and the mom. So we are having our family over today. Well, we're having my family over today. We are having Yar's family over later in the month um, for like a party. So that's gonna be very fun. But today we're just having a small gathering with my side and we're gonna get some food catered. And I'm very excited. We got a bunch of barbecue food today. Um, we got like low-key a lot, so hopefully people are hungry. I think we got like barbecue chicken, mac and cheese, green beans, cornbread, <laughs> apple crisp, I think mashed potatoes. It's like a lot. <laughs> but then I also got these really cute Mother's Day cookies off of Etsy. Like they're so cute. So I'm just, I'm really on my Etsy grind, y'all. Really on my Etsy grind. Um, also, the sunburn. <laughs> We're recovering. We're recovering from the sunburn. And at least we've got a nice low-key little glow. I do have on um, just some at-home lash extensions. I've had them on for a few days. And they're holding up pretty well. They're just um, Ardell, like, little clusters, you know? And then I use Ardell Lash Tight Glue. I personally find that it works better than the Falscara. Everyone loves Falscara. I don't know. I prefer the Ardell Lash Tight Glue. I get the dark one. Um, I've showed it before, so I'm not going to bore you, but um, I find that it holds on pretty darn well. Yar is assembling a desk <laughs> over in the other room. Um, we're putting a desk in that like formal living room because we want it to be like a study vibe. No, no screens, just more chill. Um, so he is assembling that. I'll show you guys when it's done. Um, but I'm gonna make some oatmeal. So <laughs> good morning. Let's make some oatmeal. Actually, I think I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee too. And just uh, let's get this day, get this day rocking. Cause people are coming over in two and a half hours <laughs> and I have a lot of tidying to do. I have a target pickup to do. And yeah, we got we gotta get going. We gotta get moving. But first, fuel. Okay, so you guys know this gorgeous room here, which I am in love with. Now, over here, we have this new addition, which was perfect for this empty wall. So the desk is from Burrow, I will link it. It's a really nice desk. We have this old Herman Miller chair. Um, we're not sure if we're gonna keep it or not. It's really comfy and I feel like it actually fits the flow of the room, but um, for now, we're gonna put a small lamp on here. This is just extra decor that we had in a home pod. <laughs> so just to have something on it for when the family comes over today. But it's really cute. It's a great size. And my favorite part, it has, like, because I like everything to be aesthetic. So it has hidden pockets for cords and chargers and things like that. So it's really convenient, really, um, really nice. Yay. Looks really good. All right, it has been too long since we have done an old fashioned get ready with me. And I actually get a lot of uh, requests to do these, but um, you know, I feel like people, it's like, I feel like people don't really care about them, but then I get requests to do them. Let me get my ring light on without you guys having to look at it. This little ring light is just, oh, the best. Little ring light, phone holder, Great for TikToks. 
it's just great for everything. So I did my Target pickup though. People are gonna be here in an hour and I haven't decided if I'm gonna curl my hair or just like kind of blow out vibes, but I do have a lot of makeup that I have been loving um, that I've only been showing on TikTok. So let's do like an in-depth get ready with me and just have fun. Where's my beauty blender? I just washed, oh, it's on the floor. <laughs> okay, so I finally got the correct <laughs> foundation the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation because if you guys didn't see i had bought the filter not the actual foundation before um so i finally got the foundation and it, it's really good it definitely lives up to the hype thank god <laughs> and the color match is actually pretty good it blends into my neck really well and that is what we are going for but yeah this has like a really pretty coverage. I've worn it several days now um, where it actually does stay on really well. So like it has great longevity. Sorry, I'm just texting my cousin because I'm like, girl, are you going to be on time today? <laughs> Queens of being late to family gatherings, but you know what? She said, I don't know. What's the vibe for today for outfits? <laughs> Personally, I'm wearing a dress, comma, but that's just because I'm extra, lol. <laughs> she goes, lol, true. <laughs> I am extra. I be showing up to family gatherings, like, all types of dressed up. But, like, where else am I going to dress up to, you know? Does anyone else have a very hard time getting, <laughs> when you have false lashes on or, like, lash extensions or whatever, getting, <laughs> getting your foundation on your lids? It's so awkward. Oh, I do miss a chit-chat. Chit chat, get ready with me. Um, oh my god, but just look at her. I know it looks pale, but look at the neck. She matches, and that's what it's about. We will add color back in later. I need to get my hair done soon. Thankfully, even though I am losing hair from my surgery, um, thankfully it's still growing really fast. Okay, I know, we're looking like a ghost. Makeup, that's the thing with makeup. People always get traumatized by it. Um, especially back when I would like do makeup professionally when people would want to like look at their makeup in the middle I'm like mm, I would prefer if you don't <laughs> makeup only looks good at the end I swear uh, okay I do have a new concealer which I also got recommended on a TikTok. I don't know what TikTok, but I saw people talking about this and I love it it is so good I'm gonna link all this makeup the Lancome tint idol ultra wear all over concealer and i feel like you know recently i was like did i try this before maybe i did who knows but i really really like it but the star of the show i'm gonna let the concealer just sit for a second just to get the best coverage this is bomb it's so freaking good this lives up to the hype Everyone and their mom has been talking about, it's Mother's Day, everyone and their mom has been talking about the Givenchy um, Brightening Powder. It's the Prisme Libre. I got the shade number three, Rosé. Um, and it is, it's a stunning under eye powder. It really, I get it everywhere when I use this. I wish we could find a different way, like, to have our powders so they just don't get absolutely everywhere. Um, but I do use the powder puff that it came with, just this little powder puff. I wanna get the triangle shaped ones that everyone uses because I feel like it's better for under the eyes. Uh, but the coverage is beautiful on this concealer. Topped with the powder, it's a 10 out of 10. And if you're wondering the shade for that, I'm using the shade Ivory. Okay, so then I just take this little powder puff and dip it in the powder and I just go right up under the eye and I'm telling you, it has like a nice little pinky undertone and it just brightens. It really doesn't get cakey. It locks in your under eyes so, oh, so beautifully. Oh, I love this stuff. Like this is my new go-to under eye powder. Like I love you, Laura Mercier, but can't hold a candle to this. Is that how the expression goes? I do like to use my Laura Mercier though to set the rest of my face and it still is an amazing powder. Um, like it's always gonna be a G, like it's one of the best. I'm just gonna set my forehead so I can do my brows. And I have been back on my Tame and Frame game. That rhymes, we love that, from NYX. This is a tried and true favorite. And then I'm using the e.l.f. Precision Brow Duo Brush. And I'm telling you, 
forgot how much I love a pomade. You just get so much control. So much control. It is nice though because a lot of you guys um, I've noticed commenting on my TikTok when I do like little three minute makeup videos on there. Like a lot of you guys say you miss the makeup videos and like it's what got you into my channel, you know, <laughs> like 10 years ago. Cause I have been on YouTube for a very long time, um, over 10 years now. You know, the people who have been here so long, I just wanna say thank you and hello to any newcomers. That means a lot that you're here too, but I've just been seeing a lot of people lately you know, when I post those little makeup ones, they're like, this reminds me of when I first found you on YouTube. Because I started primarily with, like, makeup and, like, outfit of the days. You know, vlogs, like, were not a thing back then. <laughs> they really weren't when I started. It was primarily, like, makeup and fashion and, like, oh, things are so different now. And it's so fun to, like, evolve with the platform. You know, when I started on YouTube, it was not a job. I did not know it could be a job. It really wasn't a job. It was just a place where I wanted to give other women confidence and, you know, watching people like Sarah Ray Vargas gave me confidence and um, Trish, her and Trisha Paytas were like the first two YouTubers that I would watch and like they were also curvy and I was like so inspired by them. And I just wanted to like give other women the same confidence that they helped to give me by like sharing outfits and it helped me share my creativity. Like you guys were there with me when I decided to like go to cosmetology school and I remember sharing that journey with you guys and it, I've always just really pushed like, my stomach's making so much noise, I've always just really pushed like follow your heart like and on this Mother's Day I, you know I'm so thankful that my mom always encouraged me to follow my heart and like I've dropped out of college twice um, and you know I remember like deciding to leave college and do night cosmetology school like she was so supportive and it was the best decision I made and you know I worked at MAC for a few years and I just you know the beauty industry I just loved so much and I don't know it kind of just started my YouTube journey and now that I do more like vlogs and lifestyle stuff it is nice to like come back to my roots sometimes and do makeup and stuff. You know, I still do my fair share of like fashion, but a big part of my heart is still makeup. And like when I sit down and actually like play with makeup, it just like brings me back to that time, you know? I don't know why I'm on this uh, <laughs> weird heart to heart tangent. Oh, it's a good brow day. It's gonna be a good day. It is so windy here though. Like the wreath blew off our door and like blew into our neighbor's yard. <laughs> Like, it is so windy today, guys. I don't know what the heck. But I'm so excited. Gabby is coming home to visit um, for uh, a few days next week. And hopefully we can vlog a little bit so you guys can see Gab. Um, it's her first time home, I think, since she moved. Oh my God, okay, but like, look at that under eye. It's not cakey, it's bright. Oh, like the best under eye set. Like I've seen it all over TikTok and I'm telling you, it is worth the hype. If you buy anything from this video, <laughs> buy that. It's gonna be linked in the description. I need to just blend that a little, a little bit. Okay, and then a little more Laura Mercier to set the rest. And then we got, got to add some bronzer and blush because we are we are pale. I was gonna self tan, but like, I didn't want to self tan over my sunburn. <laughs> so, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna switch over to the Juvia's place today. I freaking love this bronzer. It's so beautiful. It has like a warm one and a cool one. I start with the warm, just to warm up the perimeters of my face. So yeah, Gabby's coming back. She wants to, of course, see our new house. And we're gonna like go to some of our favorite old spots. Um, we're gonna go out to lunch at one of our favorite spots Probably just live like the old days. I miss like just don't take anything for granted in life guys Don't take anything for granted. Why am I like I'm like emotional today if I talk about like Lily or Gabby <laughs> too long I will cry like I miss my girls so much, but you know, we keep up we make it work I'm happy that they're living their best lives, but I do miss them so much um, you know living close to them, but yeah, we making it work 
true friendship, you make it work. So I can't wait for her to come back. And then Lily's wedding is next month. Like, at least I feel like I'm really still seeing them a decent amount, which is nice. Um, I can't wait for Lily's wedding. It's going to be a good time. I feel like this spring is filled with a lot of really exciting events. I'm just contouring my nose as well. We got to snatch it up. And yeah, Lily and her fiance, soon to be husband, will be staying with us again when they come back for the wedding. So that'll be nice. It was nice having them stay here. Cherish the time with your friends or your loved ones, whoever. Like, you know, you just never know where life's gonna lead. They never knew that they were gonna move and have things come up that, you know, encourage them to move. So, you know, enjoy the time. You know, Gabby and I talk all the time about how like, we really didn't like appreciate 2019 as much as we should, 2018, 2019 like the year we were both single and <laughs> just like you know we were so miserable like dealing with horrible dudes before I met Yar but like we look back and we were like god we had a lot of fun we had a lot of fun that year and you know I'm telling you guys if I could look back if I could go back and talk to myself when I was single I would be like girl relax like it's like you want to find your person so badly that like you just don't live in the moment and like dating is just it's just not that serious but it feels so serious in the moment so like like I get it I get it but uh, just try to enjoy the process just slow down and try to enjoy the process like when you're gonna find your person you're gonna find your person I went out with like a dozen dudes over that year before I met Yar <laughs> and like God has his timing. The universe has timing. All right, sorry to like switch so abruptly, but blush. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous blush. I finally got my hands on the Dior Backstage um, Rosy Glow blush, the one that went viral on TikTok because it's been out of stock forever, forever. And I had like stuff, I kind of just like accumulated stuff in my Sephora cart. Um, but the second that this was back in stock, I'm like, yeet, <laughs> we checking out, boo, we checking out. Um, and it's just, it's stunning. It's so springy. It gives just such spring vibes. And I definitely like have a heavy hand with blush because I just, I just love blush. <laughs> but um, I just feel like it looks so, so beautiful for spring. All right. And then we're going to do a Flexitarian by ColourPop for our highlight. Back to the old days. Whew. Look at that glow. Look at that highlighter. Ooh, she got a cheekbone today. All right, and then a little tip of the nose, which we love. And then I have a new setting spray as well. And I'm obsessed, the Urban Decay All Nighter, but with vitamin C and cactus water, cactus flower water. It's so hydrating, but like it dries down so nicely. It's got like a little bit of a citrusy scent. Um, and I just, it really makes my makeup last. It looks so good. Um, and anything with vitamin C, like I'm a fan. Okay, so for the eyes, just because I don't really wanna do like a lot, I'm trying to think what I should do. I do really like doing this, but it feels like a lot. You know what I'm just gonna do? I'm just gonna take some bronzer. This is what I did the other day and I really liked it. Just like a fluffy crease brush and some bronzer. And I just swept it into my crease and I really liked it. But first, I gotta get rid of the foundation crease as well. So I just gotta blend it with my finger. And then I'm gonna take a little bit on the fluffy brush as well of just some translucent powder and just kind of set that so it doesn't crease in my, my eyelid all day. Okay, so now that we do that, now I'm just gonna take bronzer and just like loosely sweep it and it just gives me like a little something sultry a little definition it's just easy with the false lashes already on because I don't know how y'all be doing like intricate eye looks <laughs> with uh lash extensions I'm like I I can't you have to like try to fold them down while you're like accessing your lid <laughs> it's too much for you girl too much Okay, sorry, my camera overheated, but um, I have a new lip liner, the Patrick Ta Monochrome Lip Crayon in the shade She's Humble. And then I'm obsessed with these Laura Mercier glosses. This is in the shade Rose Syrup. And um, I wanna go for kind of like a rosy lip because I'm wearing a white dress today. And uh, I just want like 
you know, some rosy vibes. But I'm doing like a nude lip liner just so it's kind of a little more muted. I really like this lip liner because it has an angled, an angled tip so you can really get like right along your lips really well. And then it also has a clickable sharpener just to like give you more product. And it's just a really pretty neutral, like rosy nude. I keep hitting my elbows on my desk, um, lip liner. And then this gloss is beautiful. So nice and rosy, love the look. And now I'm gonna blow dry my hair. And I got a new heat protectant as well. It's like an all-in-one primer, 10-in-one primer. It's a collab with Tinashe, Tinashe. Um, strengthen, protect, and reduce frizz. So I'm going to use this. It smells like candy. I love all of the Eva NYC products because they just smell friggin' incredible. It reminds me of like some sort of smell from when we were kids. Like some sort of like perfume at CVS or something. I don't know. So thankfully I've let most of it air dry. It's probably like 50% dry actually. So... What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Should I just do like a voluminous blowout? to Lizzo my camera died um so I just did curlers on the front pieces oh hello you swoop a swoop oh my god you can't beat rollers dude you really can't just on the front two pieces oh she's glamorous by the glamorous the flossy flossy the only thing I hate about wearing gloss is that it's just, there's always hair in it. There's always hair in it. Um, I probably should have just left those in longer. Why did I, I'm gonna put them back in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them back in. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna do a layer all on the top just to get, just to get a little extra volume. These are from Amazon, but of course. And then I just have these little clippies that I put them in with. I'm gonna do that. So I just steamed my dress and put it on and let these work their magic. So yes, yeah, see how we get that really nice bouncy blowout swoop when you use these. I don't even need the clips because they're Velcro. <laughs> they definitely hold. Ooh, I love it. I love the swoop. All right, let's see. Gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Bouncy bounce. All right, I'm right on time. People are gonna be here in 10 minutes, so <laughs> yikes. We love being ready last minute, don't we? So sweet. Ooh, see the gloss situation, man? It's so awkward. All right, let me throw on a little jewelry and then I'll show you the final look. Okay, for jewelry, I threw on my Miranda Fry Diana hoops. And then my necklace collab with them, the Irene Chain and Alexandra Charm. Discount code for the site is Fearless. And then this Abercrombie dress I just steamed with the little cutouts. And I really love this dress. I don't have a lot of shape, but I don't really care. Um, and then my Target 
scrunch green sandals. So here's the look. All right, time to host. <laughs> Many hours later. You guys, what a day, what a day. It is 8.20 and everyone's left and we just did some cleaning because we actually rested after they left because hosting is a lot of work. Hosting is a lot of work. But um, the food was really good. The only thing was we didn't realize it was going to come um, like cold uh, and you had to heat it up in the oven because every time I've done catering before when you pick it up, it's warm. So that kind of like threw me off a little bit because like everyone was hungry because I told them I'm like, we're going to eat right away, like be on time. <laughs> and the food is like all cold. It had to be heated up in the oven for an hour, an hour. But we have a ton of leftovers. Um, I actually got Tupperware so everyone could take some home. Guys, even after everyone took stuff home, look at how much we have left. So we literally have this is filled, this, mashed potatoes, um, chicken, green beans, beans. Um, we have cornbread. We have two more of these in the freezer. It's a lot. It's a whole lot. <laughs> But I'm really glad everyone got to take like a lot home. So that was kind of like wonderful. It was like a twofer. Um, but my family left a bunch of soda and <laughs> low key. The temptation, the temptation. Put them all in the drink cooler for when people come over. But I have not had a Diet Coke in so long. So long. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this vlog here and just call it a daily vlog. Um, a daily vlog slash chit chat. Get ready with me that's pretty much what it was we are quite tired and we'll see you guys in another vlog in a couple days love you bye